what people think of you doesn't matter. Today's video, we're gonna touch up on this because I had a great email from somebody and we gotta talk about it. Roll it. Welcome back to another video. For those of you who are new here, hit subscribe, hit the like button, and of course if you do enjoy the content, and go watch the rest of the videos in our series so you can get a better understanding of where we are valuing ourselves, the integrity, and how we can use it to get us moving in the right direction. The email came from somebody who has been struggling with this whole image thing. What are people thinking about me? And I know we've all been there, me included. In fact, I don't know many people that can say that they've never, I don't know anybody actually. Everybody at some point in their lives has this feeling of, you know, what are people thinking of me? What is their perception of me? What do they value in me? What do they like? What they don't like? And what are they judging me on? It starts with our parents, of course, our family, and then our friends, and then the people that we work with, and then the people that we want to fall in love with. It keeps growing and growing and growing as we go through life, different people come into our lives, and then we start to change up how we are feeling, how we look, how we act, so that we can get them to actually, you know, subconsciously, for us, we're doing it, and for them to perceive us in a certain way that we're attracted to them. I could jump into the whole talk about this, but I mean, there's so many uh, talks about it, and I can make video after video, so I'm just gonna jump that part and come back to the later video. In today's video, it's all about why does it matter? Why does it matter what people think of you? Does it really matter is the question you should always ask yourself when you're interacting with somebody. You ever heard of this line, the grass is always greener on the other side? People will always have this image of what they believe somebody is. And then when they get to know them, they'll realize it's not fully the case because everybody's got that personal life they don't really want to show. Until you get to meet somebody, really get to meet them, I mean, and really get to know them and really understand who they are, you don't actually understand who they are. You don't see it. You don't see those inner deeper secrets that you know they hide from the real world. The idea is that you should not care because at the end of the day, what they think of you does not matter. All that matters is what you think of you. Now you might say, hey Nico, that's, yeah, thanks. Slow clap. I think I gotta be slower. It's hard. I'm not saying it's not. And I'm saying the people that I do know that do this flawlessly don't like, fall down and like, you know, hurt their knees once in a while. They do, we all do, we're all human. At the end of the day, we want people to like us. That is like, what is the number one thing we're all trying to achieve is to be liked by other people. And then those people, you know, reciprocate the love that we're giving them and then we have this awesome relationship and it doesn't matter if it's in business, in careers, in personal relationships, family, etc. It's all the same. Any kind of interaction you're having with a human being, your goal is for them to like you and of course they their goal is to like you so looking at it from a perspective of what this all means well personal branding comes into play how we show ourselves to the world is what people will perceive to a degree and our goal is to show the best image we could possibly think of creating for ourselves so that people will perceive us in a way that we want to want them to perceive us best. Now, again, this plays out in a way where we have to look at it from the other side uh, and how they perceive things. It's not always gonna be the same. Just because people will see somebody drive a Mercedes, you know, most people will be like, oh, he must have money, you know, or if it's a BMW or whatever, high-end car. And in my mind, it's, well, he's probably leasing it. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. Why? Because I know business people, I've consulted with business people, I've consulted with career-driven people that make a lot of money and, you know, the debt is just massive and I know they're leasing. I know they're not buying and I know that they're leasing because they need to lease, not because their business is allowing them to lease. 
The idea, again, comes down to how we're perceiving. My experiences, my values, what I see as a value in somebody else is different from one to another person. So you may be showing off your fancy things, but the other person does not equate that to something that is high value on their scale, so they won't really care. Now other people, however, will. This notion of personal branding is just you know, something that's escaped us uh, quite a bit because of what's happening with online. Now if I say personal branding, people equate that to what is the image online. But that image online is only a fraction of what your image is in real life. If you can't continue on the path that you're showing off online, then offline people will call you out on it. You're not being authentic, you're not being real. And because of that, well, now you got a little bit of a situation where people will come into your life because of the online world. They will start to know you, they'll realize that it's not all true what they didn't know about you, and then all of a sudden, the relationship will start to fall apart, leaving you to ask why. Now, the original question was, does it matter what other people think of you? And at the end of the day, the killer of dreams really comes down to how you make decisions based on what people think of you. It does not matter if your family or your friends or your colleagues think of you in a you know, negative manner because you're trying to do something. You cannot allow yourself to take that into account on your next move. Because everybody has their own vision of what is right and what is wrong and your next move, your next big you know, opportunity that comes has to be the decision the decision you're making for you, not for them, not if they're gonna like you or not. I've been there and many other people have been there that aren't there anymore. You know, I'm back in between, I'm not gonna lie about that. It's a struggle, it is a struggle and I think it takes a lot longer than the time I've been practicing it, which has been for a very long time, but it takes time. And you know, that mentality that people have of, you know, what's, you know, what are people thinking and what's the next move I need to make really affects us in the judgment that we have. And that's where the killer of the dreams come. It's that moment where you really want to take an opportunity, but you don't take it because, you know, mom told you to take the safe route, dad told you to take the safe route. Your sibling didn't think it was a smart move. And then all of a sudden you don't do it. Or your friend wanted you to go to another school instead of the school you really wanted to and you ended up going with them instead of making your choice and you didn't know what they were gonna think of you if you did and you know, what happens after? Five years later, you're, you're not even friends with that person. It's uh, simple economics. Business, it works the same way where people will tell you, oh, don't go do that, don't go do this, but then you know, a few years later you see them buying that franchise that you said you were gonna buy or investing in that stock that you were gonna invest in. And this is the reality. What are people thinking? It does not matter. For me on a personal note, my sister hates that I post stuff online. She hates it because she's the quiet type. She doesn't want to be posted all over the place. She thinks it's more of a showing off, I guess. I haven't really like, you know, gone into the thinking of the wise, but I just know she doesn't appreciate what I'm doing online, but I appreciate it. I'm having a great time. Picking up the camera was the greatest thing I ever did. Creativity through the roof, I'm loving it. Do other family members, friends, colleagues like it? Well, no, some of them don't. Some of them though love it and they're like, yo, I need to get a camera, I need to go do it too. How much did you pay for it? How much did you pay for the lights? What do I actually need to achieve what I need to achieve with my stuff? I'm loving it. It's brought me to a whole new world. I've met incredibly awesome people, people that I never thought I'd ever meet. And that's all because I didn't think about who is telling me, you know, what they're telling me because of what they think of me, but rather, I want them to appreciate the fact that I'm trying to do all this stuff. It may or may not work the way I'm thinking it, but I know I'm progressively moving in the right direction. That mission and purpose I have for myself. This is the critical thing that we need to remember. My path is the most critical thing I need to be focused on, not what other people think of me. 
and what people think I should be having as a purpose and mission in life. Pay attention to those people around you that do not want to see you achieve what you're trying to achieve. Pay close attention to those people that dismiss you every time you start talking about the things you want to achieve. And of course, the, the famous line, the, the meme that everybody sees, pay attention to those people that uh, don't clap for you. Or better yet, that slow clap right they slow clap this is the critical moment in life we're living in one of the best generations ever it's just with the internet with the opportunities that come with all the social media and everything that is with this technology you have an opportunity to grow to the next level so fast like it's like this overnight you can make something that you never thought possible and of course our parents and all the generations before would have never thought possible, but we're able to do it. We're able to connect with people around the world and meet people, incredible people that we never thought. It's unbelievable. The opportunity is there. And you thinking, what's, you know, mom, dad, my brother, sister, cousins, my girlfriend, my wife, my whatever, gonna think it will only stop you. From achieving it. My name is Nikos Rentas. This is MentorsApproach.com. I think I'm gonna do more of these videos because perception and personal brand and all this stuff really just pumps me up. And uh, man, I'm excited. But if you ever been in this situation, leave a comment below. Maybe somebody will read it, and who knows? It may change somebody's life. And of course, hit a subscribe, hit a like, and let me know what other videos you're based on this topic you want to hear about.